Hey guys, welcome to another video. I appreciate you joining today. Today, I wanted to do an initial unboxing and first run impression on the Ultra Vanish Tempo. Uh, it's the companion shoe to the their new to Ultra's new carbon fiber plated shoe, the Ultra Vanish Carbon. So it's supposed to use the same foam. Um, Got my big box here, plus a pair of shoes. It's supposed to be, it's considered a speed shoe. Uh, it does not have a plate, but it does use the new Ego Pro midsole foam, which they just came out with in the carbon, the Vanish Carbon. Um, and I've decided I, I didn't. I have enough carbon shoes right now. I, I only like using my carbon fiber plated shoes for racing, and I actually find that uh, I start feeling the plate when I get it further into a long run. So I really don't like them uh, past probably a marathon in my carbon fiber plated shoes. So I decided I wanted to try the companion shoe. It's also a bit cheaper. Uh, this shoe is a bit expensive. It's like $190. But the uh, fire, carbon fiber plated shoe is $240. So I decided since I didn't really need carbon fi another pair of carbon fiber plated shoes right now, I would save a little money and I wanted to try this out. Uh, I wanted to try out their new Ego Pro foam. It's supposed to still be very well cushioned, but be a little bit bouncier, a little more responsive than their other uh, Ego or Ego Max foams. The Ego Max that comes in um, like my temps, my temp fours, and also comes in my torrens. Uh, and then there's ego that I have in my uh, Lone Peaks, and uh, the new I'm getting a new pair of Escalante threes that'll have the ego foam. So I just wanted to give the the new foam a try. I really thought these were very attractive shoes. They come in this coral color. They also come in a lime that's across here. The, the gray is a little bit darker on the back for the men's shoes. Uh, the women's shoes also come in very nice looking colors, I believe. They're, uh, on Ultra's website, they list the Ultra Carbon, a uh, Vanish Carbon, their carbon fiber plate shoe at 7.3 ounces, but like uh, Running Warehouse measures them and gets eight ounces. Uh, these, are listed at 8.2 ounces so they are a bit heavier they are also supposed to be a little bit durable more durable because the, the rubber is supposed to be a little thicker uh, these are supposed to be to where you can use them more for tempo days and more everyday training and they should last you a little longer but um, these are rated at eight measured at 8.2 ounces on Alters website they don't have a weight yet on the running warehouse website so I thought I would check them out in my men's size 11 and a half I'm putting them on the scale and it's coming in at 9.63 ounces so a bit higher than what you would expect if it's really 8.2 so uh, I do think they are a little bit heavier than what's listed on Alters website now one thing I think might be the difference is there is a really thick cushion sock liner in here if you take that out and then weigh the shoe, it's coming in at 9.07, which mine are men's size 11 and a half, so if you adjust back to a men's size nine, that probably would come in at about 8.2 ounces. So I, I have a feeling the ultra measurements maybe don't include the, the thick sock liner. It's very well cushioned. But, um, so I'm assuming that's the differences. Uh, they don't have a, the shoes just came out and they don't, like I said, they don't have a weight yet on the running warehouse site. Anyway, the, some of the features of this, uh, they are an Ultra shoe, so they do have the things Ultra is known for. They have the foot-shaped toe box. They are zero drop, which are what Ultra now calls balance cushioning. So the, the drop in the front and the drop in the rear is the same. In this case, these are very highly cushioned. They're 33 millimeters of stack height in the forefoot and 33 millimeters of stack height in the heel. Um, 
Like I said, they have the Ego Pro Foam, which is supposed to be a little bit more responsive. One of the things that uh, is usually not my preferred thing is they have what Ultra has as their Slim Fit. Uh, the Slim Fit was first, I think it first came out in their Riveras last year. Uh, and they're, they're cutting it down to be more like what most shoes come in, a standard fit. Uh, they also, I mean, a, a very n more narrow fit. They also sell uh, some shoes in a standard width, which is, has a little bit wider forefoot. And then their original forefoot, which is really wide, that you'll get on like the Lone Peaks and, and some other shoes. Um, I, I really like the wide just to give me more room to display, but I ran in the Riveras last year. I had no issue with the slim fit. It still works for my foot. Uh, if your foot is wide, these may not work for you. But for me, uh, I just prefer the wider just to give me more room to display, but I can still wear their slim or standard foot, standard uh, four foot ones without any issue. Uh, looking at the upper, these are an extremely lightweight upper. You can actually, I can see my hand through them. Uh, it's a very thin, nice, it looks like it's gonna breathe well. Um, this does not have the, the collar like is in the Mont Blancs that, that caused heel slippage for me, so I have high hopes that these will stay on my foot well. They're, they're still a nice padded uh, heel collar. I know that adds a little bit of weight, but uh, I'm willing to do that for the comfort. The tongue is pretty thin, you'll notice through here nice and lightweight but uh, it's it's flexible enough it's not the issue the the Torin 5s had an issue with this thin tongue being real stiff and it would cut into people's ankles but this one is soft so it shouldn't be any issue at all uh, it still has the lace hole it, it has uh, one two three four five six seven eight eyelets and nine it's got a, a ninth eyelet which allows you to tie the runner's knot which I think is a good feature uh, the outsole looks like a nice rubber, looks like a fairly good amount of rubber, so I'm hoping they'll have good grip, and I hope they'll last a little while. Um, anyway, that's uh, really all I know. I'm hoping they're going to work for me for long, long runs and long races, uh, and without the carbon fiber plate, I'm hoping I can use them for long road races, uh, such as my timed races that I do. Uh, so we will see. I'm going to go out and give them an initial run and give you my impressions. Um, check in a little bit. A little bit. Hey guys, so I just finished my first run in the Ultra Vanish Tempos and I wanted to give my first run impressions. Um, I actually, I covered four and a half miles. Do retail for $190, which I think is a bit high. Uh, I'm not real happy about the price, but I will say the uh, lockdown is great. I had no trouble getting them to lock through the heel or across the top of the foot. They, uh, even in this heat, the, the uh, thin mesh really breathes well. I think they're going to be great in the, in the summer months. Uh, very comfortable. The uh, Ego Pro midsole. I'm thinking it's probably a little bit firmer than the Ego Max that they sell, but it's also a bit more responsive. But uh, when I compare these to like my Torn, so my, my Torn 5s, I love the Torn 5s. The Ego Max was so soft and they were great for uh, long runs 
and recovery runs and, and I love the they had a soft upper too made it feel kind of slipper like I will say this has a very similar sort of feel um, even if the uh, foam is very slightly firmer you're, you have more of it it's a 33 millimeter stack height whereas the torrens are 28 so still extremely cushioned but I will say they feel a little more responsive a little bouncier you can definitely feel the uh, rocker rocker geometry they have in the shoe I did a few times where I picked it up some and they pick up really nicely uh, very good feel to the shoe so even though they were kind of expensive I will say unless they have durability issues these uh, I think are gonna be a very sweet pair of shoes I'm, I'm really gonna enjoy them uh, I said I've only put four and a half miles on them so I will have to report back my full review and then probably something after I get a bunch of miles on them to tell you how they're holding up but uh, so far I really like them uh, everything except the price <laughs> And then the, the slim fit, it's not usually my favorite. I kind of like the wider forefoot in the standard or the uh, original fit in the ultras. But I will say that this upper is so stretchy that they're extremely comfortable anyway. At least for me, I, I don't have a super wide foot. If you have a super wide foot, these may not work for you. But for me, I have kind of a standard foot, but the, with the stretchy upper, they're quite comfortable. Anyway, those are my first impressions. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please consider hitting the thumbs up, the like button. If you're interested in more of my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. And other than that, I hope you're having a great day and keep moving.